All right, next up out of the blue corner, Bobby Reardon. Bobby Reardon making his arena debut tonight. He is out of Ocean County BJJ, a blue belt under Tom DeBlast. Instagram gave him a 30% chance of winning. Bobby's opponent out of the red corner, Zach Radigan. Zach Radigan out of Strategic oh, Academy shit. and Ambush Jiu-Jitsu, so another blue belt, 70% 70, uh, 70 chance, um, but no surprise there. He has been on arena multiple times, like I said, 3-2, with some very funky submissions. Um, recently tapping out a black belt in a match that he took on a minute notice. So. <laughs> Zach is always fun to watch. What a this will be a setup. I'm excited for both of these this guys. This is my fight of the night. Let's go. Oh, shoot. Jake's already calling it out. Two very opposite personalities, it looks like, in there. Zach came out really impressive. Oh, man. I am excited. He doesn't. Zach's He's like a baby Andrew Cockle, if you ask me. Zach's entered in the cage, he said. I'm so effing nervous. So. Is he? Is that what, what he said? He said, he said it to Bobby. That. He said it to Bobby. He said to Bobby, yeah, and they laughed. <laughs> Bobby is stone-faced, oh, though. That's oh. her neck lock. They're trading it. They're trading leg locks. The knee is free. The knee is free. We should just need to relax. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. This is uh, a lot is happening and it's only been 35 seconds. This is a good one already. <laughs> this is great. I'm so nervous. So for those who don't know, Zach Radigan is uh, a fan favorite who stepped up on literally 58 seconds notice and broke a black belt's ankle. That's what I was just <laughs> Bobby Reardon is making his debut, but this is great. This is great, and Bobby comes out of a great school. Um, Ocean County, obviously under Tom DeBlast. Tom DeBlast produces a bunch of killers, um, so it's an awesome matchup. High level blue belts. Absolutely. Exactly. Exactly. A little boss there. Mouthpiece. Threw his mouthpiece Whatever over the wall. Whatever he threw, it went really, it went really far. <laughs> it's like on the roof. It's on. <laughs> we'll go to sell this building ten years from now, and I'll find it. It'll be great. I don't. Yeah, he's not getting that back. I don't even know how to get up there. <laughs> Definitely That's not gone. getting it. Mouthpiece back. is gone. I like the 2 on one from Zach. We haven't seen any of that tonight. It's a strong grip. Ooh, quick knee strong slice. Entry. Right from Bobby, and he'll take that pass quickly. Maybe a Dars? Yep. Oh, oh yep. A Dars, a Dars. Oh, he's stepping over. Let's see if Zach can hang. Zach does have both of his shoulders flat, and he, I think Bobby needs to come up a little bit more on the shoulder, which he is. And get tight he's here. To get him out. He's got to get a good angle. Halfway through the match, he's in a bad spot. Can he lock it up and finish? He's out. Wow. Very nice escape. Whew. That was quick. I feel like if anyone's going to sleep before they tap, though, it's Zach. It's Zach. Right? Yep. Yeah, I can see that. He's going to be hard. He's not going to give up any submission easily, that's for sure. But great looks from Bobby making his debut out here. Oh, yeah. Bobby's giving Zach some trouble for sure. And I don't think we mentioned, but this bout is 170 pounds as well. A lot of 170 pounders um, on this card. We'll get a nice little push from Zach. Like he's unbothered uh, by what's going on. <laughs> nice invert from, from Zach. Oh my goodness. Bobby though, quick leg pummels to a knee slice. Oh my gosh. He really does. He has great verse. Oh my goodness. But a, is there a back take? Oh! Oh my goodness. Oh. Two minutes left, Zach. This is it. This here. was great so far. Oh, yeah. You said it, match of the night. I knew it, man. Is he gonna mother's milk him? Is that a possibility? Another match. I would call this mother's milk. That would be the that would happen. I like a good mother's milk. Zach looks angry and excited. I'm not really sure what's happening, but little kip action maybe from Bobby. Zach is smart keeping his legs crossed though. Yes, yes, almost. For sure, he's very flexible. If you look around, this match has everybody in the entire gym on their feet watching. Yes, everyone is definitely excited to watch it. Oh my gosh, transfer to the Oma Plata, and he's out. And a follow-up Oma Plata to an arm bar. Woo, I'm tired. This is arena grappling. Somebody get my inhaler. This is a lot. This is great. Wow, what a chain of events. His knee cuts are great on top for a possible back step, maybe. 
We're walking it back action. Okay, Bob. Are we in round one? Like, this is This crazy. is round one. This is round one. We have 45 seconds to go. I know. I thought that was 10 seconds. Wow. That was fantastic. It's been, like, like one constant transition this whole time. Absolutely. These guys look great. They came out to game. They understand the format, and they are doing it quite literally. Really nice. Like, Paul. He has great transitions and passing on top. And I just said Colin Cronin locked in in that uh, performance, or excuse me, that debut of the night award. Oh, yeah. Bobby's giving a run Bobby's for the money right Bobby's up here now. making his debut in arena, and he is doing a great job. Look at that chain of events. Ten seconds to finish. Oh, he's pulling. Oh. Look at this angle. He is putting everything into it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and Bobby oh God, will get out. out. They are just trading subs back and Holy wow. cow. Wow. <laughs> so no subs in round one. That's but one round. All the attempts. Okay. All the attempts. That's oh only one God. round. I'm not very likely to say this ever again. Wow. But if we went to overtime, I'll be okay. I would yeah, be okay with it. I would absolutely be okay. I hope that you get a submission and then we get that 10 minute overtime. Oh, like, what, if you're the corners, what are you saying? Like, I don't even know how you digest that match. I mean, Sam Borby's all the way in there, like, Somersaulting in. He's back, oh my God. literally. Oh, oh, we have all the rolling. Oh, man. All the rolling. They're rolling onto each other. This is my favorite match ever. They took grappling quite literally. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. This is so great. Zach's mind games are just amazing. What is this position? Whatever it is, I'm into it. What do you think Bobby's taking right now after that weird You know, <laughs> it's a little, it throws you off, you know. They say when people are a little crazy, it's almost scarier, you know. Like Bobby's game. Bobby's crazy, too. This is, you have to for sure, have for that sure. level of energy to match it. And we know he's got good knee cuts. We know he's got good rolling submissions. So I would watch my arm extensions if I was Zach on the bottom. He's really hyperextending there. A little bit, a little bit slower. <laughs> the pace is not 120 miles per hour, but it's still pretty, pretty, pretty fast pace. I think we might see Bobby take a pass soon, but good guard retention from Zach. Wow. Zach taking a second off there. Oh. A little bit of reverse Dela Heva from Zach. I just feel like Bobby conveniently drops into positions, and it's interesting. His step throughs are also so great. His step throughs are beautiful. Sort of just gets, just gets there. Zach just looks like he's having a great time, though. I mean, he's a, no. he, what is this? He's all over. To the backside. Zach's face looks like he's selling out on something. That's yeah, for sure. Going. But there's no knee in there. To be fair, I feel like his face almost always looks like he's selling out on something. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Minute 30 in. We're definitely looking a little bit at the clock, a little bit slower. But both guys leaving it all on the map, that's for sure. We have a, we still have all of those upper upper options. What is it? Best debut, submission of the night. There's so many good ones here. Yeah. Good on Bobby using his right leg into into Zach's leg to come up. That was very smart. What do you think of this so far? What do you think? What do you think Ashley goes on this team? Who's you know? I don't know Bobby, so I think I would probably pull to Zach because we know he's been in this format. My but question. that being said, Zach finishes fast usually. We haven't seen him go the distance. And he's looking a little tired. He he's been laying, he's been taking some extra seconds off here and there, so you got to wonder if that's going to come into play. He's also looking at the clock a lot. Yes. Um, and I feel like sometimes that is an example of getting a little bit tired. And sorry so. to tell you, Zach, you're only halfway through the round, buddy. I know, I know. I would also consider close guard. Ooh, oh, oh, very nice step, though. Booty right in the face out, action. Bobby. Bobby's not committing to maintaining these top positions. Though. He's not. Quick back step. He's They're definitely moving fast, but definitely not as fast. And I would say their submissions aren't as tight this time. You know, in the beginning, I felt like round one, their submissions, both of them were really good looks. And this time, I feel like we're a little more flowing. 
there's another knee slice, but good guard retention. Oh, oh my that's gosh it. for Zach. That's pretty deep. Armbar could be there. Whoa! Oh my goodness. Very nice. <laughs> Round two submission at 316. Zach's machine. Wow. Wow, Zach. He rolls back. He ended up getting the armbar from that. He rolls back. Armbar from triangle. All right. Zach Radigan does it again. I'm good. That was wild. All right, is this going to be all on Bobby for round three? All on Bobby. Can he Bobby get it done and get it to overtime? What do you guys think? I think he can get it done. I, I think he can get a submission. I thought the majority of that round, Bobby was in control. Yes, I agree. You know what makes this so difficult is he looked like he was in control the, the whole time, but chaotic really is the word for Zach. You 100%. don't know. You don't know what's going to happen. Zach hasn't even touched his He speed. was in a darts, and then he was on the back. How, how do you know? You it's, don't. It's also the beauty of submission only. <laughs> grappling, right? Like, it, you, you can be in control of six, one move. Let's go. He looks tired, but I feel like he's faking it. I just, I don't even believe it. Wait. He stands. He stands. And then they double pull. Oh my goodness. Looks like Bobby's more than willing to come up now. Right back into the ball. Wow. Very nice entry by Zach Radigan. But he's getting himself out, is Bobby. Oh my gosh. You're right, it is his face. It is always that way. <laughs> and all Zach has to do here is survive, but he's still going on the attack. He he wants the double submission, I think. He, I really think he does. Corner calling for him to come up, and he is more than content on the bottom. Bobby again looking for the pummel. I knee cuts, right? We know we know that's what we've seen so far. He's sticking with it. Back to his red butter. I hope this time once he actually passes, he elects to control the stop position. I agree. Maybe try and kill Zach a little bit. With someone that moves as fast as Zach, I think you've seen, you, if you can't match his pace, you have to slow him down and like stay in mount and there. And then look for an isolation of something. I would agree with that. I'd agree with that. I'd like to see a little more hip control, I think, on the on the top from Bobby, because the more Zach moves his hips, the worse it is. Whoa, that was, that was a little, okay. definitely a little Muay Thai action. Oh, Ooh. but that might put him in not yep. the best landing. He's on, yep. He is on a guillotine. Yeah. yeah Something tells me Zach is out, though. Okay, yeah, he is. And he's now he's got an arm. Which he could transition to the legs if he sees it. He looks like tired. Is he tired? I think he is. I think he embraces it. Is he tired? Is he having fun? I don't, I don't know. And that's why I like it. Bobby's leaving it all there, though. He's he's going gunning for it. Yeah, he's much more aggressive this round. If you guys are just tuning in, Bobby does need a submission in this round to get to overtime. Otherwise, the, the win will go to Zach from his second round submission. So Bobby's putting it on the line here. This is great, though. He's not playing scared at all. You know, he's, he's looking for the finish. And you could have a Darcy again. Oh. <laughs> you don't know. It's a 50-50. He's in like, on a choke. It's a, like a mounted uh, arm and heel. Arm and heel. Yeah. No, he lost it. He's out. Maybe a mounted triangle. Looks like it. He's got to get that right leg over. And this is where. Doing a good job of good. controlling. Oh, oh, my gosh. Zach is out. Wow. We're only halfway through the match. Yeah, Bobby has about two and a half minutes to find a submission. Very nice taken. butterfly from Zach, who also still looks exhausted. Bobby's corner emphatically calling him for him to just get up. The thing about it is we always tell our students, like, don't leave both your shoulders on the mat, and Zach's doing a great job of leaving him on the mat, but still somehow. They haven't left them. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I would say win or lose for either guy. Both of them are really exciting, and I'd love to have them both back yep. on the card again. This is amazing. Yeah, some of my favorite grapplers here by far. Blue Belt Super Fights, they never disappoint. They really don't. Zach is just relaxing, looking back at the clock while Bobby comes up. And the pressure's on Bobby. He's got 90 seconds left. I think he feels oh. it. I think he feels it. I, I also think he's thrown his best Dars attempt out there, so like what are we looking for now, you know? Like what's yeah. the what is your next move that you can chain together with the Dars? Oh, oh and Oh, 
around an arm. Oh, he's in. Oh, this he's really might be it. Take, he needs to take his time, take that leg. Yep, right arm to the leg, perhaps. 60 seconds before it's over. Can he finish? We are close. Less than a minute to go. This arm bar will get us to overtime here. Oh, man, this and is he's it. close. Zach is holding on for you. Like, oh, my gosh. But he's also able to bring himself over for the escape. Zach looks like he's almost out. Wow. Oh, my gosh. We have a foot push, and he is out. Oh, my goodness. 30 seconds wow. to find something for Bobby. What a great match. That was tight. That was, that was we, have seen, we have seen some great submissions. Zach just said this corner. I'm not tapping. <laughs> oh my gosh. We'll let the arm break. Wow. Beforehand. 15 seconds left. <laughs> what? They're both having fun. They're, they're just saying, I don't even know what's happening. Oh my gosh. Another arm bar attempt. To a Troy bar. Maybe belly down, maybe. We've got five seconds. There's still time. Oh, oh my man. Goodness. What a match. Oh my gosh. What a match. What that a match. was fantastic. Holy cow, that was amazing. That was so good. We can all go home now. That was the main event. Good luck. Shout out to both guys. Bobby out of Ocean County and everyone knows Zach Radigan. I'm sure we will see them both again. Good stuff. Bobby definitely needs to be back on here. Oh, yeah. We need to get him on yesterday. That was exciting. And the winner of us is Zach Radigan. That's crazy. Wow. Before I go to I want to have Bobby with me. You want Bobby? Yeah, so. You both Yeah, come here. We don't. First of all, listen. We all know this man worked way harder than me in a lot of those exchanges I gave up. Probably midway to the second round, maybe even before. I want to say that I was not excited for, to, get, to go into this match. Me and Bobby had a few beers last weekend. He's a really cool guy. And uh, I want to thank him and his corner, Sam Borb. Great people. I hope we never have to get in here again. Cause that shit sucked. Thank you, bro. You want to say anything? Bobby, you usually don't get the, uh, the loser in here afterwards, man. But that was, I think, most of the set of greatest matches of the night so far. Great. So, how did you like being the ring grappler, man? Man, I loved it. I uh, didn't come in with much expectations. I just want to have a clear mind, have fun. I knew Zach was going to be tough. I appreciate Zach because he made me work really hard for this match. So, thanks for making me better, man. And thank you for being grappler. Well, we can't wait to have you back, man. Bobby Reed, a great match. And now I'm here with your winner, Zach Radigan. No, don't apologize, man. That was great. And Zach, I, I, I honestly can't believe you found someone to match your energy. How did it feel? Were you a little bit afraid at first, sir? I don't know if afraid's the word, <laughs> but it, I was definitely, uh, I felt the nerves. Um, Bobby started throwing up those flying subs and they were scrambling with me. I was super surprised and impressed his scrambability and his composure. Yeah, dude's gas tank was pretty good too. Um, I obviously fell short. I think those nerves got to me a little bit and I wanted to quit, but I didn't. I kind of, you know, I kind of manipulated the rule set a little bit in the third round. I knew I was up and I just, I was so tired. I had to take my time a little bit with him. Uh, I want to apologize for that. I'm always coming in here to put on a show. Um, I don't feel like I lived up to my potential tonight. I will apologize for that, and I promise in the future, I'll bring in the fucking heat. Let's go. Zach Radigan, say less. Congratulations, my man. Thank Great you. match. Thank Zach you. Zach Radigan. Man behind the camera. Nah, yeah. Let's go.